Hello and welcome. Uh, this is topic number six, addressing modes of 8086. Till now, we have covered the architecture and the pin diagram of 8086. So, why are we going to study addressing modes? Uh, addressing modes, what does it signify and what does it tell you? So, basically, addressing modes help us to understand the types of operands and the way they are accessed while executing the instruction. So, in this presentation, we will study different addressing modes and we will study these addressing modes with uh, examples. So there are different types of addressing modes in 8086. There are eight stated in the slide: image addressing mode, direct addressing mode, register addressing mode, register indirect addressing mode, indexed addressing mode, register relative addressing mode, base plus index addressing mode, base relative plus index addressing mode. So firstly, we will see the image addressing mode. In this type of mode, image data is part of the instruction and it appears in the form of successive byte or bytes. So whatever data you are going to copy in this example given on the slide is given inside the instruction itself. So if you see the example move ax comma 10ab, so in this the data 10ab is there given in the instruction and which will be copied to ax register. So what will happen after the execution? the value 10ab will be copied to ax register okay next is direct addressing mode so in this mode of addressing mode a 16 bit memory address is directly specified in the instruction as a part of it so you want to you know copy from or to a memory location and memory location has an address and that address is given along with the instructions so as you see in this example there is move ax comma 5000 so this 5000 is the address in the memory where the data is taken from. Definitely 5000 is the offset and the segment address is given by the DS register, data segment register. So what is going to happen is that 5000 or you can say 5 lakh and 5 lakh 1, 5 lakh 2, the data from, so what are you going to say that uh, uh, 5000 is the address. 5000, 5001 and 5002 has different datas but this is a 16 bit operation AX comma 5000 so 16 bit data will re require two memory locations that is 5000 and 5001 and the data from these two locations will come to AX the AL and the AH the lower byte and the higher byte so that data from the location is copied to AX register so that is direct addressing mode in the next re addressing mode register addressing mode in this type of addressing mode, the data is stored in the register and it can be a 8-bit or a 16-bit register. All the registers except IP may be used in this mode. So what is basically happening is that a data from a register is getting copied to another register. So there is source and there is destination and the source data is stored in the destination uh, register. So but both registers are given along with the instructions. So what is going to happen is that whatever the data is there in AX register is going to be overwritten with the BX register data that is 10AB as you have seen in the animation. Next is register indirect addressing mode. So in this mode the memory location which contains data or operand is determined in an indirect way using an offset register. So you want to copy some data from a memory location but the address you are not go going to give it along with the instruction the address you are keeping it in a different register so in this example as you see move ax comma bx move ax comma bx so, so what is happening is that bx is holding a memory location address and this address has few data that is 22 and 33 so 5000 has 22 and 5001 has 33 so this data is being pointed by the address given in bx register so what will happen is that after the execution of this instruction the data 2233 situation or located at 5000 5001 will be copied to ax register okay so that is the uh, register indirect addressing mode so let us recall or uh, what we have studied till now so uh, we have posted a question move 7000 comma cx which addressing mode does instruction above belong and why so what we have to think is that where is the source and where is the data so you can now pause for a minute identify 
where the data is, where the address is, how the data is flowing from the address or the memory. So you can pause for a minute and just identify uh, what is happening in this instruction. Take your journal and write your answer. So I hope you have written uh, the answers to this question. So which addressing mode it is? Direct addressing mode. Because the address where the data has to be copied is given along with the instruction. So what is going to happen in this instruction is that CX is your source register, 7000 is a memory location that is your destination. So what is going to happen is that the data from CX register is going to get copied to 7000 memory location and 7001. So what is going to happen is that data is getting copied to the memory. So that is the answer for the question. Okay, we move on to the next addressing mode, indexed addressing mode. So in this addressing mode, offset of the operand is stored in one of the index registers. DS is the default segment for index register SI and TI. Okay, next is indexed addressing mode. In this addressing mode, offset of the operand is stored in one of the index registers. DS is the default segment for index registers SI and DI. In the last addressing mode, we saw that the offset was given inside a register. And in this addressing mode, the offset is given inside an index register, that is SI or DI. So is, as you see in the example, move AX comma SI. So SI is pointing at a memory location and SI is a index register. And what will happen is that from that memory location, data will get copied to AX register. So if you see the animation, so from 5000 and 5001, the data has been copied to AX register. Next is register relative addressing mode. So in this mode, the data is available at an effective address formed by adding an 8-bit or a 16-bit displacement with the content of any one of the registers BX, BP, SI and DI in the default either DS or ES segment. So if you see that, if you see the example in the instruction, move AX comma 50 hex. So 50 hex is pointing at a memory location inside the segment register. So DS and ES are the segment registers and inside the memory there is a location and location can be found out with the help of the offset which is also given inside the instruction. So 50 hex is the offset and it is added with 5000 hex which is pointed by the offset register BX and the resultant value will be 5050. This is the memory location inside the data segment or the extra segment. And the memory location is being pointed by this the resultant address 50, 50 hex. And data from that location will be copied to AX register. Okay. We see the next addressing mode, base plus index addressing mode. So in this mode, the effective address is formed by adding content of a base register any one of BX or BP to the content of an index register SI or DI. The default segment register is ES or DS. Okay. So what is going to happen is that the offset address is going to be created with the help of BX plus SI. So if BX has 1000 and SI has 3000, the SI has 2000. If BX has 1000 and SI has 2000, the values of the offsets will be added and the resultant address will be 3000 hex. And this 3000 hex is the offset, resultant offset index uh, address which will be inside the data segment or the extra segment. And that location will give us a 16 bit data which will be copied to AX register. Okay, I hope you are getting it. So last is base relative plus index addressing mode. So in this addressing mode, we have a combination of both the previous modes. So what is happening is that we have uh, the BX register, we have the index register SI and we have the offset. All these values will be added together to get us the effective address. So if you uh, think about the example in the given in the slide, that is AX uh, will have the data from the memory location 50 plus 1000 plus 2000 that is 3050 and the data will be copied to AX register. Okay, so that is base relative index addressing mode. So summary, 
so we have studied different addressing modes and we have understood you know how different addressing modes have different data in different locations uh, so sometimes you will have the address sometimes you will have uh, the data sometimes we'll have the register which has the data sometimes we have the register we have which points to an address so these are all the different addressing modes of 8086 so thank you so much